We are currently in the calm before the storm. We're expecting a pretty decent front to come through. Got to get cracking. No pun intended. <laughs> We have arrived at the lambs. The bigger lambs here are going to ALC in two weeks. So we need to get as much weight on them as we can. You're not gonna hear me because of the wind, but I'm not gonna bother. The wind is starting to pick up now that we're not protected by the, sh by the sheds. We went to a farm walk yesterday. I'm posting a members vlog of that if you want to see it. There was a product there called, I can't remember, and it was a probiotic for sheep. It's meant to allow their gut to absorb more. I'm going to get it and try it on my pet sheep, see how it goes. We'll see the progress of it, see if it's any good. And you guys, I don't know, if you've got sh Let me know, do you, actually, do you guys actually have a farm? Or do you just watch this for the shits and gigs? These the guys in here are the bigger, bigger lambs we've got. They Most of this paddock will be going in two weeks. A very frequent misconception that I get on some of my videos is lamb as a food. People think when they're eating lamb, they're eating lamb, not lamb. Oh well, the rams are not in their paddock again. Who would have thought? If I can get the PTO off, positive language time, when I get the PTO off, um, I'm gonna run some bales out to the lambs, I think. Yeah! Topo, behind the seat. Excellent. I've been feeding these bales. They don't look great, however, the sheep absolutely love these quite floppy it's quite a flaccid bale but the sheep really like them so if the sheep like them they can have them. it's not like they're getting any younger they kind of look like my great aunt oh for fuck's sake yes oh, these guys are getting a bale damn it Great aunt Oaten was a lot closer to retirement than I thought. Currently 12 degrees. I fucking got right between my kneecap and my knee. <laughs> ah. Why would you put that there? Why wouldn't you put it on that side? No one's getting in on this side. You know it's getting windy when the lambs have the zoomies. I'm wondering if I take one of these bales over to those lambs. It's not a far trip. However, most of them don't have any string. We're going to do it. We're going to do it and see how it goes. We'll just flick it over the fence so I don't have to risk going through the gate. Got this one. I don't like my chances because there is no string. Oh, oh, oh. So I fucked up. I feel like a massive fucking dickhead. I drove away um, with the remote still on the ute and it then got caught underneath the brake and now I'm going to have to go. Now it's going to have to be fixed. What a stupid thing to do. It's not a hard fix or anything, but it's just something that didn't need to be done. I've got the truck, the forklift, and the Suzuki are all already in the shed needing to be fixed. We, we didn't need this. Just informed Dad. The response was, right. Yeah, right. I don't know if that's right or not. There was a comment about Typo being scared with her tail's down. This is Typo's mother, Smiggles, as you can tell. They have very similar bodies and coats. Smiggles has a low tail as well. Smiggles, can we see your bum? Yeah. Can you tell this mother and daughter? I can't show the windscreen because it's fucked up. And then I don't want to show outside because I'm getting wet. I think water in my eyes, like it's it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty wet. That's what she said. There are two baby lambs somewhere in there. They are all due now to start lambing. The rams got put in, we say the rams get, the first lot of rams get put in on the 25th of May. 25th of December. I think that today is the 25th of May. So from now, they're meant to start landing. 10 degrees I present to you, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to go around all the other sheep. I put Typo's coat on and we're skidding. 
the sideways. Got it under control, don't we? The merinos aren't due to land for another three months. I'm just doing a general welfare check. Now we're heading up the back. The rain has seemed to have settled down a little bit. I think I need to invest in a snood. There is a massive fox that I just saw run across the paddock and then go into there. I assume you can't see. Forget what I said then. I look like a drowning rat. How the fuck did they get in there? The prime liners are meant to be in this paddock, but they go through the fence. As we say, fences for prime lines are just guidelines. Why can't you stay where you're put? Still no lambs. A lot of the ewes look the same sort of pregnant. Do you like to give your educated opinion? Very informative, thank you so much. So there were sheep in here. There's a key word there. These guys look fine also. Kev's in there currently mowing and I can see all the sheep, so I'm not gonna drive in there. I went back and everyone kind of just disappeared and I found some of the vehicles. Oh, I found people. We're cleaning the cars. So get ready for like car cleaning montage. Take out my collection of junk. I think the vacuum needs a vacuum. Oh, that's a good sign. I've gone to get this red dinosaur vacuum. It's been vac vacuumed and clean. Well, don't look too close. Point is, you can see the floors. It looks fantastic. Now, I've just got to pick up the rest of this rubbish and check under the hood. Here's my haul of misplaced junk. I have one, two, three, four jumpers. That one doesn't count. Or is this my jumper? Oh no, that one's mine too. We have a fork. We have mail. We have dog treats. Not one, but four water balls, water bottles, pink eyed powder, and a bread clip. Solid haul. I oh, know five. And I, and I found my inhaler I lost months ago. Can you carry that back to the car for me? Thanks. Good morning. Today we're leaving the farm. Basically, this is the paddocks that they showed us. Um, there's lots of cover crops. There's 15 different species in this paddock. My issue is 